What's up guys, my name is Sasele from AP Tech, helping you grow further and faster on YouTube. In this channel, we do tech gear review and also tips and strategies just like this one. So today we're going to review this Clean My Mac X on for MacBook. So what we're going to do now is go into my trusty computer and download this software itself. And then I'll walk you through the process and things that you can do in order to enhance your computer and capabilities. So I'm actually using the full version but I would suggest you to give a try the trial version. And if you do like it, then that's when you're going to um, go in ahead to purchase the new one. We're going to type clean my Mac. And this is the, the trial version. So we're going to download the free version. Um, it's asking me to move it to basically download the app itself. So we're downloading the app. As soon as this app opens, obviously I'm, I've got the key code. I'm going to enter my own key code, but if you do um, want to give ahead, go ahead and play about, about with the trial, then that's something that I would suggest. The whole purpose of this software is to increase the speed. Basically, this should be up and running. If you're doing it for the first time, then this will be a lot slower. But once you have um, done your checks, then this will be a lot faster. So I'm going to unlock the full version. But So if you do have the full version, this is how you unlock it. I'll leave a link in the description. So if you want to go ahead and purchase one of these ones or play about with the trial. So I'm going to hit activate. Obviously this part here, I'm going to fast forward. After entering this and it's basically giving me the option now saying, yes, you're all good to go. And you can see that at the bottom here where you Initially, it said that um, you can enter your key code or purchase one, but at this stage, it's all clean. So you can see straight away, this is what you are featured with. You've got system junk. You can run these operation one by one, but I like to do the smart scan. What this smart scan is going to do is that it's going to run my computer's data and um, it's going to basically look for all of the junk stuff that's been hidden and things that are unused and also free up some space. So let's go ahead and scan this. So it's cleaning up and it's going to basically take a little bit longer than initially. And you can see that it's basically looking up um, for any unwanted files as well as my um, protection, any malware, and it's going to enhance the speed. Or well, the whole purpose of me doing this review is to see that if this Mac clean my Mac is actually required in this current day and age 2022. If you do have an older Mac like myself, this MacBook Pro, it's um, 2020, so it's a couple of years old. And if you've got older version than this, then it's definitely worth purchasing this Clean My Mac. But if you do have one of the latest Macs, then they are a lot faster already. And if you do feel like you still need to go a lot more faster than that, then this is something that you would consider. Okay, it's basically saying that it found 3.1 AGB, um, some sort of a memories that I can clear up. And it also found some sort of a protection. My protection, it says there's no threat found. And it takes basically the speed up to three, I don't know, three tasks to run. So we're going to basically review what are these things. These things you can see here, system junk. It has 3.18 system junk that I can clear off. It has a bit of catches there, a bit of language and user log. And these are things that I can clear them straight away. And this is how you can grant access to your computer. So it's telling me basically um, open my system preference and then I'm going to go to authenticate and then I'm going to use clean my Mac and my full disk list. Everything else is all good. So we're going to hit run and it's going to ask me, are you sure you want to do that? It's asking me, shall I quit Chrome? Yeah, let's quit Chrome. It's asking me quit Safari. We can quit Safari. And it's asking me here, um, for my password so I'm granting access to my clean my Mac and clean my Mac is cleaning everything for me So while we're waiting for that to clean up, so if we take a look at the monitor, which you can get it right at the top, just by clicking that, it gives you a lot of information. So you can see that uh, my uh, dashboard here, it tells me the things that draws the most my battery. So my uh, I've got Audacity that's currently recording my audio for this video that's running behind the background. 
I've got my clean, my Mac is also running behind the background. These are the two things that are currently draining my battery. I've got um, other things that are just showing here um, on my network and uh, my memory as well. I've got 16 GB memory. The current availability for my memory is quite low. You can see this is how much I've got left. And this is really bad. I shouldn't have low memory, but I do tend to use other external hard drive. So that way my memory stays all well. It's telling me what, what else can we do now after we've cleaned those 3.18 GB. Um, so what we can do is we can actually run a lot deeper um, so that, that can detect um, things like us just luring around my system. There are 10 unread, uh, unused apps. I can get rid of those apps. What are those apps? There are so many things that I can get rid of. Um, so what are the unused apps? So I, if I open it up, like things like pages, OneDrive, numbers. So I can get rid of this one here. So before you do anything, you can actually see how much space they're actually holding. So obviously there's certain things you can still keep. Actually, I'm going to keep that OneDrive in there. So these things, but uh, I can un uninstall them. And this is basically a way of finding out. So there are so many things here. So M utility, I'm going to keep that. M call at spec. So this is a uh, generator basically. Um, M call at spec again. And um, these are the um, plugins that I use for my Final Cut Pro. I'm going to use them um, now and then, but you can see that it tells me I've not used this for a very long time. Um, so I'm going to click uninstall the ones that I've currently ticked. Everything else is still going to remain there. So that's uninstalling those apps off my Mac. So that's going to give me some uh, space back again. You can see that it told me I saved about 8.69 GB. You can imagine that's quite a lot. So if we go back again, I've got the options to run a bit of deep scan. So that gives me a lot more information. But so depending on what package you want to go ahead, this is the subscription based one year subscription. And if you want to go ahead and purchase for two max, this is what you would basically um, pay for 49.95 pound. Um, and for one Mac, $29.95 and for five Macs, $69.95. This is a subscription based for one year. Um, if you want to go ahead and purchase just one time forever and depending on the package again, um, so for two Macs, this is how much you'll be paying. And for Mac, one Mac is £76.95 and you've got for five Macs, £167.95. And that depends on you what you would pay. So this is what most of the people would do. Um, they're just going to go ahead and buy, buy Lifetime this app itself. And you would be uh, basically paying it £76.95. I would urge you to try the free trial first. Once you've tried the free trial, then that would give you a li little bit more option. This software has a lot of things like um, VPN. It also has uh, for clean my PC. So it's not only for Mac. It also works with PCs. And for those who are interested in PC, do let me know if you want to see a video dedicated for PC, then I will do a video um, on based on PC. But currently this is just for clean my Mac. If you find this video useful, do hit the like button and also subscribe for more videos like this one. Till next time, stay legend.